How's it going everybody? Nathan, Nathan's MRE. Today we have a very special ration. This actually is the French ICIR mini number 13. I have not done this one yet. This one's beef with carrots and carbonara pasta, tuna and cheese pate with a lot of other stuff. It should be very interesting. All right, so a good friend at North Georgia Outdoors sent this over to us. If you guys are interested in this or one like this, check out the link in the description or the t I'll be pinned to the comments either way. So in other news here, we have a expiration of September 27th, 2022. We have a package date of February 18, 2019. So it's pretty dang fresh for one of these. And this is a 24 hour ration. If you don't know, midget cleaver out here. We'll give her a little bit of that action. Oh. I did see that the post office give her a little love tap there. Hopefully it didn't destroy anything. But usually the RCARs are really tough and don't usually have a problem with doing that. Usually the mains are in tough enough containers. So Starting off, we have my absolute favorite measly, the chocolate measly. This is the MX3 Extreme. Uh, there's a different brand in here too. I don't know if I had this one yet. Should be interesting. We have the soup. All right, so we have the hard to find, the elusive fish soup. Also, uh, the guy I got this ration from, he's gonna put a discount code for you guys. Uh, go to his website, and if you want something like this, you have to ask for it. He'll have contact info on there. I'm not sure what all he has in there. It has some American stuff. He does have other stuff too, so definitely get it him, and so forth. So we have a uh, the mint lemon lime tea. Lemon lime drink, it's not tea. We have accessory pack, come back to that here in a minute. We have some napkins or some TP. We have our biscuits, the uh, the triple decker here, the chocolate, the cereal, and the salt. Here we have our Esbit stove, chocolate bar, our nougat bar. Here we have our peach apricot bar. Here we have our chocolate, uh, was that chocolate fondue, chocolate something. Um, just chocolate, chocolate pudding type situation. We have the, uh, the roulettes, which is like shredded. I think this was the tuna. Let's make sure. We have the tuna roulettes with cheese. We have a coffee commando bar. We have a fruit pate bar. We have some strawberry jam. We have the beef and carrots. I think that's all it really says. Yeah, basically. And here we have the carbonara. Let me see here. Twist carbonara. I think that was uh, carbonara pasta. And that is it. That is all that's in the box. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so here we have the carbonara pasta. Looks like it's some kind of meat in it, possibly some beef. Let's see what it says real quick. Pork. Pork in it. Crank her open without losing a finger. It's your pork carbonara, a lot of cheese in it. it. Smells absolutely delicious. The beef and carrots. Some slices of carrots, it's like some potato, uh, some beef. Definitely smells some bay leaf in it, different spices. Should be very interesting. Let's get this heated up. We'll be right back. Okay, so the mains are heating up. So let's go ahead and see. We got our measly and fish soup here. We'll do that in one second. Let's go ahead and dissect the accessory pack. Oh, cut the coffee on accident. What well, smells like coffee too, big time. Look at that, cutting towards myself, just like you guys taught me. All right. There's the coffee.
coffee. We'll set that up to the side so it don't leak out. We have our standard tea. We always get the red Ceylon or Royal Ceylon and then our mint tea. We have a couple packs of sugar, salt and pepper, salt and pepper, and then the really awesome European cocoa. It is very, very good cocoa. Probably my favorite so far. That's it. Let's get some hot water going. The mains are almost done. We'll be right back. Okay. Let's go ahead and start this thing off. Let's start off with the, the craziest thing first. The fish soup. The Neff brand fish soup. I've had some of this before that was very good. I've had some of this before that we had to open up all the windows on the house when I fixed it. <laughs> this is going to be probably the, the second half, I would say. Got some nice boiling water. How much was this? How many mil was this bad boy? Two, three minutes. 100 grams, 36 cal, 250 mil. That's probably probably good right there. Maybe a little bit over. I have to give her a good stir because uh, she's got the clumps in it. What you don't want to do is take a bite from that and have a big clump of it on the end of there. That's for sure. Let's take a smell of that real quick. <laughs> we'll come back to there in a minute. Oh my god. Alright. Let's fix some hot chocolate. It's absolutely the best hot chocolate if you never had it. The SRD. There's many different kinds, European brands, but it's almost like a three-in-one coffee, but it's hot chocolate, so it's not crazy sweet, and it's a darker chocolate. Absolutely perfect. With that little bit of a mix. Let's go and mix up the one we sliced and diced while ago. I could even find it right there. Right there she is. Throw off to the side. Nice freeze dried coffee. hot drink mix is the oh we don't have a gusset on the bottom is the muesli and this actually looks pretty decent let's go ahead and blast this some hot water usually call for 100 mil There, we'll mix that up. Whoa. Hit the corners real good. And that's gonna be pretty much it. We'll sit that up right there. Okay, starting with the mains. Let's drag this over here, maybe. Might be too freaking hot. It's pretty hot, it's pretty hot. There we go. Here we have our beef carbonara, or pork carbonara, I'm sorry. Pork and pasta carbonara. You can see here, got a lot of cheese in it. It smells almost like a smoked Gouda cheese, possibly. It's actually very nice, it's very mild and it's not salty at all. 
piece of pork in it. Hmm. There'll be some dark meat pork, almost like a like a pork butt kind of situation. Super tasty. Definitely a 10 out of 10. All right, next up. Whew, they'd be smoking hot. Beef and carrots with some potatoes in it. Try some of the potatoes and carrots first. Definitely has some bay leaf taste to it. Maybe, I don't know, I'm not really sure. Hmm. Has a hearty sauce to it, like a broth to it. It's pretty much a beef stew, but a lot lighter, right? Like a real mild, light gravy to it. But look at that, probably blurry. Man, that's also a 10 out of 10. Just absolutely perfectly seasoned. The carrots are done perfectly. It's not strange in the least bit. It doesn't taste like it's from a can at all. It tastes fresh. A little bit of citrus to it. A little bit of this lemon or lime juice in it. It's actually very nice. All right, let's make a little bit of room here. Yo. Let's slide that off of here temporarily. And... Let's go ahead and do the muesli. It has some sunflower seeds in it, some little chunks of chocolate. Absolutely perfect. The oats in these stay firm. They don't turn real soggy and get kind of weird. Got some powdered milk, some sugar in it. Hmm. Absolutely perfect. Cannot ask for any better than that. So we did forget to mix up the drink. Let's go ahead and do that. These drinks are usually kind of super weird, to be honest. So let's blast. I think it's 500 mils it makes. Looking for about half of it. It's probably pretty close. Look at the dust coming off of that. Definitely a lot of powder in that bad boy. Look at that. It's freaky. Well, I guess uh, lemon lime mint drink. Kind of as you expect. It's really kind of milky though when you drink it. It's really super funky. These are always like that. They're not necessarily bad, but they're. You gotta be kind of bracing for it. I'll hit you when you're least expecting it. The fish soup. Look at that. It's getting thick. Not many other reviewers get fish soup. That's the third time I've had it. I like it so much I actually bought some off Amazon. Oh, that is like, well, that's, that's dead fish down by the ocean all day long. Oh, yeah. I don't know, I had this weird thing, I actually like fish soup, but it's strong. It's definitely got a dead fish odor going on that would turn 99% of people off of it. Speaking of dead fish thing going on, let's try these tuna roulettes here. These little roulettes is like a shredded meat. And this is no different. See, that's kind of put through like a shredder. It's not bad. It's got some... What is that? Basil in it? Almost possibly a hint of pickle relish. 
It's actually very, very good. Not fishy at all in the least bit whatsoever. Get some more salt crackers out here. Try with it. Cereal, chocolate, salt. They give you the salt ones that go with all the pâtés and stuff like that. And of course the chocolate ones to go with everything else. Jeez, come on. There's the tuna. Well, it's coffee. A big coffee guy. It's very mild. It's not real potent. I don't like that. Let me see here. Where, which direction we want to hop here? Getting into dessert. Let's go ahead and crack open this bad boy. Some jam on it. My favorite ones here are the chocolate biscuits. are always the best. More of a cookie than anything. See a little flex of chocolate in it and we'll squidge some of this stuff here on there. Can't go wrong with chocolate biscuits. A lot of people don't like those. I'm not really sure. I guess if we don't like chocolate maybe. Be the only way. There's hot cocoa. Look how dark that is. And it's not creamy. It's almost like I said, like 31 coffee. Hmm. That's an absolute perfect 10. Couldn't ask for any better than that. I'm curious to see now how the, the chocolate pudding's going to do. Chocolate yogurt, chocolate pudding. Oh, looks risky. So this is kind of like a, a thinner pudding. Really. It has almost like a cheesy kind of, like almost like a blue cheese aftertaste to it. That's interesting. It definitely has the blue cheese, the, the tartness, the the moldiness kind of taste to it. It's very good, but your average person is probably not gonna not gonna quite understand that. Their palate's gonna be thrown off by that for sure. All right, and our little treats here. We're gonna start off with our little peach apricot bar. Let's take the knife, cut a little piece off the end. Go. A very mild apricot flavor. Not really my my favorite, I would say. Coffee commando bar. I've had these before in many different variations. Same way, ever so slight backdrop of coffee. Not very strong whatsoever. Here's the nougat bar. About as fresh as you could possibly get. No paint smell at all. Absolutely perfect. Fruit pate, basically like a raspberry, like 
a squishy raspberry jelly bar, you might say. Perfect. The chocolate's gotten hot once or twice. It's all bloomed out. Look at that. Chocolate's still perfectly fine. Everything is absolutely wonderful in this ration. Some of my favorite rations. That's going to be it, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you very soon. Have a good day. Votre toast, je peux vous le rendre. Seigneur, seigneur, car avec les soldats. Il est terreros, peuvent s'entendre. Pour plaisir, pour plaisir, ils ont les combats. Et plein ce jour de fête, le cirque est plein d'y autres.